Welcome back, Rum fans. It's Saturday morning. I've got the red shirt on. It can only mean your cocktails, your rum cocktails without the faff. Three simple ingredients. Three ingredients, simple rum drinks, whatever you want to refer to them as. Because I know some of you get a bit bored with rum and coke. Some of you don't want to go into cocktails with like five, six ingredients. You're not into all that. You just want some simple, maybe spirit mixers or rum and mixers, I should say, rum with a bit of syrup. We have got you covered. That's what this Saturday morning series is all about. I'm going to dive into the recipes in a second. The recipes will be below in the description. Uh, so you can go and check them out. Uh, today Today's mixers though, two of Stratford sodas there, Katie and Dan, Stratford sodas, tropical and the spiced, Rubicon guava puts in an appearance, and the syrups I've used, cherry, hibiscus, passion fruits. So cocktail one, I've actually got a name for this one this time, ODing on the tropical vibes. How do we like that? That is terrible. Come up with your own names for these. But the ingredients, really, really simple. I'm going for Plantation OD, um, kind of a, a lovely sort of mixing rum for this sort of stuff. We're going for Monin's Passion Fruit Syrup and uh, Stratford Soda's uh, Tropical Mixers. So uh, for this series, we go US, um, so 30 mil shots essentially. So double bubble, 60 mil, double bubble of your favorite sort of mixing rum in a highball glass a job is a good one. So let's put that to one side. Monin Passion Fruit, 15 mil, half an ounce of that. I think that's where you could use Passion Fruit Puree in here. Remember these recipes are purely for inspiration and a guide. You don't have to follow them strictly. I'm just giving you ideas. So uh, Stratford Soda, hello Katie, hello Dan. Uh, this is their Tropical Mixer, low sugar, low fizz. Perfect if you want to add a flavoured syrup to these or perfect if you don't like overly sweet mixes. I really, really like these. So uh, I bought about a half a bottle, maybe just just more, maybe just about 150 mil, something like that. Perfect. Uh, for this, I'm going slightly different. You can use cubed ice. Of course you can. I am going crushed ice in a tiki glass. I think that is perfect. Right, because I want to get my swizzle stick out because I haven't swizzled for ages and Claire sent me this and I haven't really used it. So hello, Claire. We're giving you the swizzle stick, love. And also, I thought of something else that I could kind of show you purely for inspiration. This doesn't make or break the drink at all. Um, I just want to show you different things. These are almond bitters, toasted almond. This will give your cocktail an almond edge without actually using a sugar syrup or an alcohol or anything like the kind of throw off the ratios. So I like to have the bitters around like this because, you know, they don't really affect the end, co end cocktail in sweetness terms. Uh, they just kind of give you a little burst of flavor. You don't have to use them. I just purely said for inspiration. So we're gonna go a couple of little dashes of those almond syrup, uh, almond bitters in there. I'm gonna stick my swizzle stick. Because of the Stratford soda, you don't need to add any sort of lime, any citrus or anything to balance this out. Get your swizzle stick, give it a good swizzle. There we go, perfect. Lovely, jubbly. We like a swizzle stick, haven't used that for ages. There we go, thank you, Claire. And uh, top up with a bit more crushed ice. There we go, garnish. I've just got a passion fruit there. You could go with sprig and mint as well. What do we call it? ODing on the tropical vibes. I ain't gonna lie, that's pretty tasty. I've just had to top it up again. Uh, and something I don't think I mentioned as well, the tropical soda is, as I said, it is low sugar, uh, low kind of sweetness to it, um, but it is pineapple and coconut. That's what the tropical is. This is flipping good. <laughs> now cocktail two, don't worry, don't switch off. You can see the agricole here. This will work with other white rums, Jamaican rums or, or whatever kind of white rum. We just did Ash uh, from Clement was on with our live stream. I fell in love with the whole hibiscus agricole kind of vibes. Hibiscus and normal rum does work. Molasses rum, of course it does. I just wanted to pay homage to the agricole. So we've gone for, I've got no name for this. So we've gone for like a sugar cane juice rum, agricole rum, uh, Monis hibiscus and Rubicon, uh, Rubicon um, guava soda. So as always, this series, 50 mil US, sorry, 60 mil double bubble. Uh, I like 60 mils in highballs. There we go. So 60 mil double bubble into your highball with um, topped up with ice. Monin's hibiscus syrup, kind of like a slight sorrel, but you know, faff free. Make your own sorrel syrup. I've got a great recipe, which I will be doing very, very soon. Uh, but for now, we're just using uh, Monin's hibiscus. So 15 mil of that. There we go. Uh, and then Rubicon guava. We love this stuff. Hang on. 
Let me just give you a close up of that. There we go. Rubicon guava, absolutely delicious. Love this stuff. Guava and hibiscus just works really, really well. Uh, half the can there ish, give or take 330 mil cans, so about 150 mil. I'm just going to give that a stir now. And I think what I might do is actually one lime wedge just to sort of cut that back a little bit. Give it a stir, combine the hibiscus through the cocktail. The aroma is flipping on heat. It's absolutely amazing, this aroma. Top up with a couple more cubes of, wow, okay, the smell. A couple of cubes of ice. Uh, I'm going to garnish up with a sprig of mint in a second because I love a sprig of mint with sort of pink and red drinks. I think that's great. What's it taste like? Oh, the smell, the aroma. I think, I love the agricole vibe in that. Agrigol uh, hibiscus guava is just this match made in heaven. Absolutely delicious. That's so good. So, so good. And then your third recipe, your final recipe to the day. I thought I'd pay homage to a Cuban rum. I haven't used Cuban rums to my recollection too much in this series. So we're going for a Cuban rum. Does it really matter? No, because the flavours are essentially coming from the syrups and the mixes. We're talking highballs, but Cuban rum, I do kind of love Cuban rums. I found this combination worked extremely well. It was kind of uh, after a live show a couple of weeks ago. Stratford sodas, uh, I've got to stop calling it ginger, spiced. It is cinnamon and ginger. Uh, it's like a ginger beer, but cinnamon kind of forwards with ginger in there. It's delicious, but cherry. And this one, Monin's Morello cherry. Mor even Monin will tell you, even the guys at Monin will tell you the Morello cherry is their favourite cherry. This is so good. I think they do three different cherry syrups. So we're going for, as I said, uh, 60 mil US double bubble in there. You could go crushed ice for this one. I'm just going for uh, sort of, this is technically a tumbler, but it's actually a highball. It's like 16 ounces, 17 ounce glass. So there we go. Uh, so it's a bigger, it's a whopper. Uh, so we've done that. We've got 15 mil of a cherry, oh, Morello cherry syrup. Oh, smells the aromas, luxuriousness of that. That is amazing. And hello, Katie. Hello, Dan. Stratford soda. I said it again, didn't I? Ginger. Spiced, 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 spiced. So uh, low sugar, low carbonation, full of flavour. They work perfectly for those people that don't like sweet drinks. They also work perfectly for those people that kind of want to add flavours um, that haven't got a really, really sweet palate, if you know what I mean. So about half, two thirds of a bottle nearly in there, two thirds of a bottle. Just put that there. Give it a stir. So you can see the cherry syrup is at the bottom. So give that a nice stir through the, through there, look. Uh, I don't think, because these sodas are kind of, they've got a lovely sort of citrus bite to them, I don't think you need like lime or any sort of citrus in there. I'm just going to top up with some more ice, garnish that with an orange, probably a sprig of mint for the old thumbnail as well. That'll do. I've got an orange here ready to go. And that is my drink with no name, but Cuban rum, spiced and cherry syrup. Honestly, that cherry and that spiced match made in heaven i think it was after um i did i'll tell you what it was i'm sure it was it was after i did the no name live and the cherry rum cherry spiced rum with that was just like whew. so i was playing about with the syrups oh my god amazing so as always in the comments below don't forget let me know your favorite let me know you would put which one you would make for a party or for yourselves at night let me know which one you would put on your pub bar menus they are simply stunning don't forget to join me tomorrow night sunday night for the live shows because that's where we have so much fun and banter until then or until next saturday or until videos dropping every single day of the week i'll see you in one of them